Hi guys, Mike here from Firemasters, and today I'm here at the Saffir Brew, a brand new restaurant just outside of Canterbury, Kent. And today we're going to talk to the owner, KJ, just a little bit about what he's trying to do here. You're right there, guys. I'm KJ from the Saffir Brew. Uh, we're a street food business that opened just around a year ago. Um, we've recently just opened the new kitchen on the barn at Wilton Farm, focusing on wood-fired cooking. Um, we're using Mark's wood from Firemasters, which is a Namibian hardwood, um, which has got great smokiness, flavors, and it just has a long-lasting burn. So, as I said, around a year ago, I had some friends who was looking to sell a food truck, and it's always been my dream kind of to open a food truck uh, since I watched the movie Chef. You know, they had their food truck. It just looked like a really cool thing to do. So we kind of decided to take the food truck on and just create something. And obviously with a South African background, I decided why not do some South African food. So we decided to go with the South African fusion menu so that it wasn't just authentic South African food. We gave a bit of a twist on it. So we started doing things like our Afro kimchi or we um, did like our mango salsa. So obviously still using South African ingredients just with different like flavors. Um, and yeah, it's kind of just grown from there. We started in the food truck, we now have the kitchen, and we do festivals, events, weddings. And KJ, why wood? So we went with wood because I feel it's got a better burn on it, a lot better flavor, smokiness compared to using charcoal. Um, it's a lot more organic as well. And yeah, it just gives a good, good flavor all around. KJ, tell us a bit more about your personal background. How did you get into cooking? Sure. So my dad's always been a really good cook and um, it was never his profession, but he just loved to cook at home and always brine, barbecuing, you know, for our English viewers. Um, and yeah, he kind of gave me my passion for it. And when I decided to leave school, I joined up at chef school and I trained up during the day, worked in restaurants at night. Um, and then from there, I uh, decided to go on and we opened a restaurant in South Africa called Republic, where I worked for some friends that owned that. Um, and yeah, I worked for Havana Grill, which was another like barbecue house, um, steak and ale in Amschlange, which was also a very like meat orientated place. I've always liked the meat background of things, done some work in a butchery. Um, then when I came over to England, I decided to go the freelance route, um, just because I enjoyed working in like various kitchens. I didn't like being in one place. I thought, you know, we could go to all different kitchens, learn different techniques, learn from loads of different people. And yeah, and then from there decided to open my own thing. Okay, KJ, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your signature dish, the bra platter? That's been one of our best dishes from the get-go. It's kind of a combination of various types of meat. So we do like locally sourced lamb chops, burrovos, which we have a friend who makes our burrovos for us from North Downs. Um, we use steak skewers, chicken skewers with a combination of salads. So you get like your cold slaw, your chakalaka, our homemade chimichurri. Um, so it's just a really nice, fresh combination of flavors, all cooked over wood fire. Perfect dish for sharing with family and friends.